can sit on my lap, it's fine. <laughs> okay, I can sit wherever it's, it's up to me. Uh, you want to sit in a rolling chair? Oh, rolling yeah, chair. Yeah, there you go. Chair with wheels. Don't be speeding in it, though. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get pulled over right here. <laughs> Charlie, uh, I want to put your mind at ease real quick, just right away. You're not trouble for anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just doing some uh, finalization on our, on our investigation involving the other team, okay? Um, I'll try to keep this as PG rated as I can. Um, <clears throat> Basically, what I'm trying, what we're trying to establish at this point is, uh, by the way, here's your phone back. What we're trying to establish here is if there was any communication that you might have had with either one of them uh, last week during that time that all this stuff was going on. The only communication I had was just to call him to see if he was all right, you know, what's going on, because I told him to keep in touch and he wouldn't keep in touch. Okay. She was getting freaking worried. You know, thinking something might happen because he's going into a whole different city. You know, and yeah. we don't know what's going on out there. Sure. You know, we don't know if someone's going to rape him or kill him. Or right. Sure, you never know. Sure. Went the opposite way. <coughs> so I was at work, you know, and she's panicking, so I call him, and you know, eventually either he'd answer me or my text or something. Sure. You know, and I even asked him a couple of times. I'm like, you guys are not getting in trouble. Right. Yeah. Which I wasn't thinking that kind of trouble. I was thinking, you know, like an or whatever. Yeah. You know? Right. Right. I wasn't expecting anything like this. Yeah. I don't think anybody was really. So, um, what day was that that you talked to? Do you remember? It was it on that cell phone or was it? It was on my phone. On that phone. Um, or? I talked to him or every day he was there. Okay. And you guys knew he was going to Springfield, right? Right. Okay. Do you say why he was going down there? Do you give you a purpose? Just to get her and bring her up here. Okay, so he's going down there. He told me back. that she was kicked out and all that stuff. Well, with all this going on, I don't really think she was kicked out. You know, I don't think she was in a homeless shelter or nothing. Is that what she said? That's what she said. And she told him. She told. Uh, she told my wife that she was in a homeless shelter. Yeah, when she she picked, that. What well, she told her that? That was Saturday morning when she picked him up from the uh, station. Okay. Well, that was a lie. Right. To be honest with you. That's what you find out. That's what yeah. figured. <clears throat> yeah, that was a bull faced lie. She wasn't kicked into the homeless shelter. So. Um, her and her mom may have gotten into it and got, you know, upset with each other, but her mom, her mom would never. Your mother. No, not at all. Especially, especially what happened, which I won't go into detail about that. Even with Nick even doing it, it's like. I think Nick even did it. Yeah. He, do you think he's on any kind of controlled substances or anything? No, he isn't. When he did it? No. Okay. Does he have a, does he have a history of any kind of drug abuse? <laughs> he doesn't do any drugs or okay. drink. He's a clean cut kid. Okay. Up he, until this point. Was he working up here whenever he was no, here? He was collecting SSI. Because okay. he couldn't work. He worked at um, <sighs> Little Caesars for a little while. He was a shaker boarder while he was taking a break every okay. hour on the hour. Well, you got a new manager, and she kind of was like, no, you're not doing that. You're just sure. being outside and all that. Well, you couldn't handle it. He quit. He came home. Gotcha. Like 15 minutes after I dropped him off, I'm like, what are you doing here? I yeah. quit my job. I'm like, why? Because she cut my brakes on. And I'm like, well, two. You're only there for yeah. four hours. Don't oh, you he's not here for four hours. Wow. And you get a break every... You're only supposed to get one break. Wow. And he was taking... Yeah, for four hours. Yeah. Huh. Um... He's not, he can't handle authority. Yeah. I mean, I even have a hard time cleaning up his room. Yeah. As you guys see. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was like pretty messy. Up there. Some paper in you know? Yeah. It was, it was well, pretty messy. It was a good thing I got it before you guys got out there. Okay. It was even worse. Because the <laughs> yeah. day he left, I went up there and it was like six bags of garbage and four bags of empty bottles. Really? Yeah. What's, I mean, what, is he just not pick up his stuff? Is that the deal? I mean, he just, he's just lazy. lazy? Okay. What's he on disability for? He's got, um, ADT, um, autistic, he's got, um, uh, what's the other one? Um, Osberger. Okay, alright. So he's got one. When he was born, what happened was his, uh, her umbilical cord mm -hmm. was wrapped around his neck twice. Oh, okay. So it took a Some lot oxygen of oxygen stuff away from it. So he's got a mind of a 12 year old. Okay. Uh, never have a mind over a 12 year old. All right. 
Is he, uh, is he kind of a loner? Well, pretty much. Okay. So he doesn't have any close friends or anything? He ain't Just his cousin. Okay. Who's his cousin? Ricky. Ricky. Do you know what his last name is? No, I do not. Okay. My wife would. I don't know okay. if it's going down to or not. <laughs> don't know. How did, how did he get down? How did he get from here to Springfield? Bus. Oh, uh, like the Greyhound? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, did he? Did you guys give him any money or anything so he could put up a hotel? Up? Did he have money for his? She sent the money. She is in Gypsy. Yeah. Is that okay? How much money did she send him? I know. No idea. No clue. How do you know that she sent him money? Did he tell you that? Yeah, or just something you see? No Do you know how much she sent him? I have no clue. Okay. I know it was like, uh, I'd say a few hundred dollars. Okay. And what makes you think that? Because uh, he had money for the taxi, and the taxi driver's like, well, first, the taxi was supposed to be 75 bucks, and then it changed to like 80 some dollars. But we told the taxi driver to turn around, we'd pay him for, you know, right, whatever, and then uh, we'd give him a ride down there. And um, I just seen some of the money that he was counting out, and I know he had a couple hundred on him easily. Okay. But um, last time when I took him down there, mm-hmm. she sent up, I think, four or five hundred bucks. And that's all her ass. That's I suppose it. Did she send him cash or check or money order? Cash? Yeah. Did she send through the mail? Yeah. Hmm. I'm surprised I got through. Um, okay. Did, did he ever talk about anything, um, any contracts that they have between each other or any kind of agreements and... Nothing like that. <clears throat> no. Um, now, you said that he called a cab. He called a cab here to go down to the bus station? Correct. Okay. Now, once he got on the bus, do you remember what day that was? That was, I believe, oh, when I think of Tuesday. Tuesday? I think Wednesday. Was it Tuesday? No. It was Tuesday or Wednesday. That's all I can remember. Okay. It was Wednesday. Tuesday, was, I know. Tuesday yeah. was the 9th, and then Wednesday was the 10th. Okay, I think when I was working. Sure, that's fine. Tuesday, Quinn, I was at school. Please. I know you were at school. You were at school both days. Mm-hmm. Well, Wednesday. I, no, I didn't take him Wednesday because you were in school. You went to bed in school when I took him. So you would have ended up coming with. So I know um, it was Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. Right. That was easy to figure out. Okay. So he left Tuesday the 9th and then. He, safe to say he probably either got there late that night or... He got the there late, day, that night, late, night. late that night. Okay. Did he call you and let you know he was there or something? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, from when he left to the time he got back, and from what I'm understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, she picked him up at the bus stop at... Two something in the morning. Two something in the morning. I do miss Nick, too. Do you? All right. Well, you'll get to see him again, I'm sure. Okay? I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you, man. Um... The, uh, is, that, is this a brother of his? Is this, oh, okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, they're half brothers. Half brothers, right. Well, I don't know how you call them because it's the same mother, so they'd probably be full blood brothers. Yeah. Just different mother. No, they're just different brothers. Okay. Uh, from, you know, the, from the ninth when he left to the time he came back, had you talked to him anywhere in between that? Well, yeah, I checked up on him every day. Oh, you know? did? Yeah. Okay. Just to make sure he's all right, like did, I said. And yeah. he never indicated anything was wrong? He was mm-hmm. upset? Yeah. Did he talk about gypsy or anything? No, not really. I mean, I'd ask him what's going on. Have you gotten in contact with her? Because he said she didn't have a phone. The only way he could get in contact with her was on the internet. And I told him straight out when they get, he gets down there, try to get a hold of her right away and come back the next day on the right. bus. That's yeah. what I wanted. Sure. Well, it didn't work that way. Also, he tells me when he's down there, oh, my bus tickets could go not until Friday. Okay. Or Thursday. His was Thursday, yeah, because she didn't have a bus ticket, so it would have been Friday for her. Okay. So I was just like, oh, something's getting wrong here, you know. And then right. all of a sudden find out Thursday that he couldn't come back home because she didn't have a ticket, so they have to come home Friday. You know, I'm like, well, isn't she the one that booked you the ticket? Right. So, wouldn't you think if she booked you the ticket, she would have booked her own? own ticket. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So and she didn't, apparently. Oh. Okay. Um, did 
Did you talk to Gypsy any, any time? No, nah, I talked to her when she actually came back, came here. back here. Okay. Yeah, when I came back here, um, was there, what was your impression? I mean, did you feel like there was anything wrong? Did you feel like everything was good? Everything seemed normal. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> um, the only thing that was kind of odd was uh, when she came down and tried making macaroni and cheese right before I was getting ready to go to work, she was making it weird and I was trying to show her the right way of making it. She was actually taking the milk, the cheese packet, and the butter and mixing it all together. Cold. Okay. You know, not waiting for the uh, She goes, well, this is how my mom does it. I'm like, I'll show you the right way to do it. You know, next yeah. time. I'm like, next time, what you do is you take your noodles, you pour them, yeah. get the water off them, put them back in the pan, and put it out of your top yeah. of that. Huh. Okay. Um... And then uh, Nick ended up, as we were talking, because she brought up her mom, and uh, I just thought he got kind of offensive because I was talking to her, so he went up in his room. And then uh, when I was getting ready to leave and supper was done, he came back down. You know, but it just seemed like he was kind of upset with me or upset about something. And he yeah. knew you were talking about her, Gypsy's mom? Right. Was there was that conversation between you and Gypsy and about her mom, was it kind of a lengthy conversation? No, just a short one, just about her cooking. It's better cooking. Yeah. Okay. Their mom never let her cook or anything. All right. Well, obviously, you don't want it. That kind of made him wonder. Um, did you see anything on Gypsy or about her? Or, um, sorry, I'm not very, very little bit of sleep, so I apologize. My mind's going I crazy. I feel bad. I feel the same. Yeah. Um, uh, or, your, or Nicholas that uh, would, would stand out. That you can remember, okay. Okay. nothing different about him. Okay. The only thing that freaked me out is she was wearing a wig. <laughs> okay. You know? and, and was that when she got, whenever she picked her up and came to the house, she was wearing a wig? Yeah, she was wearing a wig. Okay. And then, uh, you know what color that was? Oh, uh, it was black. It was like a black reddish. It had a tint to it. Okay. And she said, and how did you know it was a wig? Did you ever meet your gypsy before? No, I haven't. Okay. How did you realize it was a wig? I know it's a stupid well, question, but. <laughs> She was at her house. When we were, she was in Nick's room, and, uh, well, first time I seen her, she had, you know, the long hair, because mm -hmm. they went to the gas station where I Well, then I had to talk to Nick for some, so I went in his room, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, you know, there's this person with, you know, short hair like right then, yeah. and, I'm lying, I was like, and he's going to me, Dad, Nick's got some dude in there also. There's like a boy in there. I'm like, Quinn, no, there's not. Yeah, there is. I'll show you. Yeah. Quinn, let's go downstairs and I'll explain it to you. Yeah. I was right. like, no. Because I thought, you know, she had a problem with growing her hair. And I even told my wife, I go, maybe she has, you know, she had cancer or something or whatever. Yeah. You know, I didn't know. I don't sure. know. So I was trying to explain to him, you know, right. she wears a wig. And it's a girl out there. She just sure. wears a wig. Right. Okay. I don't know. No, we both in not tell them. Yeah. It was kind of freaky. It was like, what the? You yeah. Know, you also, do a double take. Yeah. Boom, yeah. Um, and she never said why she was wearing it or Nick ever I mean, said I never why. asked. Okay. You know, I'm not that way. I don't ask about her people's, you know, illnesses or problems right. or whatever. Sure. Mm -hmm. And that's just like when people ask me, oh, was she in a wheelchair or crutches or what? I was like, oh, well, she's a perfectly fine girl from what I've seen. Who's and, asking you those questions? Other uh, officers. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, well, there's a reason for that. You know, she's supposedly wheelchair bound. Well, that's uh, what I heard. I was like, well, she's wheelchair bound. Well, well that's, that's I was what, from that's what you guys seen when you picked yeah. her up. And that's what I was was getting ready to say because uh, you uh, hit it right on the nail on the head. I mean, you're obviously going didn't look wheelchair wheelchair bound to me. You know, that's right. that's pretty cut and clear. You know, that she's able to walk on her own. And, and you've went, got those stairs in your house that go up, right. and she's been up and down them. Constant. No issues? No issues. Nobody's had to help her? No. Okay. Um, and uh, when I actually seen the picture of her mom and her, and then they showed the outside of the house, mm -hmm. there's a wheelchair ramp, you mm -hmm. know, and I was like, I even go to my house, <coughs> I don't know how big her mom is, it's mm -hmm. going to be for her, and all of a sudden, my hand's like, no, it's supposed to be for Gypsy, I guess. And I'm like, yeah. There's nothing wrong with her. Yeah, that's that's kind of what. Yeah. So I don't know what she was putting in my stepson's head. Yeah. You know. 
Well, um, did they have any arguments or anything when they were there? Okay. Um, do I have anything else wrong for them? No, all I know is they were freaking going at it like rabbits. Yeah. I had to yell at them. Well, I didn't yell at them. I just asked them politely. I'm like, can you please wait until I go to work or right. whatever? Sure. I'm up here because right. I'm sleeping in the in his bed. Up there in the, in the room, yeah. upstairs, okay. Um, it's going to sound like a weird question, but there's a reason why I'm asking. Is she loud? Is she not loud? Squeaky. Whenever, okay. Whenever they're... Yeah, okay. she's got a very squeaky voice. Okay. And yeah, she's kind of loud, and it's like, that's why I had to say something. Yes, right. Um, okay. Um, anything else, Charlie, that you can think of that would be helpful that you can think fine. of? Yeah. Um, before he left, was there anything that stood out to you that would have been different about him, or was he acting different or anything? The only thing that was different is, uh, he didn't let either one of us know that he was taking a taxi. Okay. okay. His taxi just popped out of the clear blue, and then he left the note on his bed. And what did it say? Just said that he was going to Missouri to pick up Gypsy. Okay. Um... Do you know how they met? On the internet. Okay. Like uh, through Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter? I, that I don't know. I couldn't sure. tell you. Okay. All I know is on the internet. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's good. That's fair enough. Um, uh, his, his computer stuff. Did you ever see her on a laptop or a computer up there whenever she was with you guys after they got back? No. Okay. Because um, I pretty much stayed. You know, I don't go in his room. Okay. I try uh, to avoid his room. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, why? Yeah. yeah. It always upset me, and it's just. Sure. I don't like getting upset, and I hate repeating myself, and there's nothing I can do about it because it's her kid. Sure. I, I understand that. I'm in one of those situations, you know, married to somebody that has a, you know, I have a stepson. And, you know, you're, you're, you have your boundaries, you know. Yeah, you know it's hard. Uh, yeah, it's hard sometimes because you see stuff that mama doesn't see, yeah. you know. Um, and sometimes you step in too far, sometimes you don't step in enough, mm -hmm. and you're like, well, what do I do? So That's like part of this, it feels like my fault, you know, if I would have went with them or if I would have known anything, you know, yeah. to stop it. But. Well, that's probably the reason why he didn't want you to go. Yeah. Um, seems like there's one thing I had to ask you, I can't remember what it was. I apologize for that. It's, it's all right. Long I understand. <laughs> Um, Those days where I go three days without sleep. Yeah. Where do you work at? I work at Shannon Containers in Berlin. What's that? We uh, make um, their blow mold bottles. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. We make uh, the wipes, <coughs> for, you know, like wiping around the mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Yeah. We make uh, Nestle bottles, um, a lot of stuff for Nestle. Uh, coffee oh, so like the water bottles that they have? Do we don't make those? water bottles, no. Okay. We make coffee mate. We make um, your salt bottles. You know, uh. for putting yeah. Salt for he makes a lot of stuff. Um, Does he? Pretty handy, yeah. Yeah, I'm the quality tag. I make yeah. sure that the bottles are good. Okay. He I'm makes wipes. Door. And if they're not good, then I put them on hold. Good. How long have you been doing that? Um, a over here. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm from a different... Different state, different mm -hmm. county than what you guys, state you guys live in. Um, let me ask you something. When the officers made contact with you guys, I'm not sure how all that went down. Did that, did that, and, and, and I can't speak for them, but my, what I want to get at here is this. Um, did you guys deny consent to search? No, we did not. Okay, all right. I'm not... Yeah, don't quote me on this. I'm not saying that somebody told me this, because like I said, it's been a long week and I've had a lot of stuff. No, we told him straight up. You know, we could have actually gone in and got him. He would okay. have came right down, you know, instead of all the force that they used. Okay. But no, we told him just need to sink and do whatever they want, you know. So if, if they came up to the door and knocked on the door and said, hey, is he here? You would have let them come in and get right. him? Okay. That would have been a hell of a lot easier than what they went yeah, through, yeah. trust me. Yeah. And, and, with the search of the house, uh, did you guys ever deny, did you tell the officers, no, we're not going to let you search? Okay. 
sometimes we do sometimes we do search warrants just because that's what we have to do, and it's right. just part. Of, especially if it involves anything major, which obviously this is a major case. I mean, no, we both gave our consent about phones, okay. cars, yeah. everything. Okay, I, I just want to clarify that because I, I, I can't remember if I've heard that or where that came from. So um, that's part of the loose ends I'm trying to tie up on everything. So uh, okay. It, and not to, and that's your right. I mean, if you did, even if you said no, get a search warrant. I mean, that's your right. But I, I was just kind of wondering why, if, if that was the case, why was you guys doing that? But obviously, you're telling me you didn't do that. So yeah, no, I, yeah, and that's obvious by even the search service method. The only you know, thing that I had hit was my blades. <clears throat> now I know why I have my blades. Yeah. Because I can collect all different kind of knives and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a couple of them in the garage and stuff. So yeah, I got a ramble. Or uh, actually, it's um, Cobra, mm -hmm. or the movie Cobra. And yeah. The one with the spikes. And yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. And we seen that one in the garage there. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. And then I got my disc one. Yeah. Um, did you did you remember getting in the mail? Um, your your mail obviously runs there on the street because your mail lady showed up when we were there. Right. So you get your mail there. Do you remember seeing an envelope or anything that came in the mail addressed to Nick or Gypsy or anything like that? There was one that just came in uh, Saturday because I took and gave it to them. Well, Saturday. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. And I kind of thought it was so odd. Remember day. when Mom picked her, him up and her? Yeah. It was the day, yeah. That day. Mail yeah. came for them. Okay. Yeah. So Or Monday. It was Monday. No, it was. Yeah, because Monday we never met. It was Saturday. Okay. So Saturday the 13th would be safe to say. Correct. It was Saturday. Okay. Yeah. All right, and you got that in the mail then, right? Correct. Okay. I have no idea what was in it. And that was my next question. Um, I don't go through mail. Okay. Maybe that, I should. Did, did you get the package and then put it on the table, or I mean, or did she get the package, or how did? I went out to the mail, grabbed it, and I seen it was for Nick and Luke. Well, I just put it on the table. Well, then they came downstairs to do some. Oh. But put potatoes away or whatever. And I was like, Nick, there's a thing on the table for you. And Gypsy's like, oh, I'll take it. So, so. Okay. And she grabbed it and right. did she go back upstairs with it? Yeah. Okay. All right. There, that plays a significant part in a lot of, a lot of things that went on. Um, can't tell you what was in it. Cause That's fine. I don't want to know what's in it. And you, don't, you definitely don't want to know what was in that package. Um, did you see a return address or anything on there? No, I didn't even look. I was in okay. his name and that was it. Okay. Uh, I, like I said, I don't really scope all packages sure. or anything, you know. It's like, <laughs> it's yours, it's... Yeah, you take it. I don't yeah. want to mess with it. Sure, that's what I'm um, All right, anything else you can think of? We're going to post on this. Okay. I wish I had more information for you. Sure. Because I really do, okay. you know. Well, you have my card, so if there's anything that you can think of, feel free to call me. Right. That direct line will get, to get to my desk in Springfield, and I'll call you back, leave me with your number, just in case I don't have it, mm -hmm. in case, you know, the mountains pay for it. Uh, then I'll call you back when I can. But if you think of anything or, um, you know, sometimes a lot of stuff jogs your memory, and a day later at 3 o'clock in the morning, you're going, oh, hey, I do remember this. You know, right. Call me the next day or whatever. So. But luckily enough, you brought up the info, because, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, there, there are some significant to that, so. Um, like I said, I don't know. <laughs> do, do, I don't know, Nick. You know him better than me. Mm -hmm. What kind of what kind of person, if somebody never met him, what kind of person is Nick? He's pretty quiet to himself, okay. you know. I mean, we always tell him he's got to get out and mingle, you know. Sure. Find people, but he's like, oh, I'm afraid of getting backstabbed because everybody backstabs you and all that stuff. Yeah. How do you figure <laughs> I mean, that's why I go to work, because yeah. I meet people and stuff, you know. Sure. And that's the only way you're going to meet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to get out there and get diverse. He doesn't want to do anything. Yeah. Do you play a lot of video games? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he lets it and me play a one player. Once in a great while. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Once in a great while. Once in a great while. You know, I always go to my dad, can you make me play a game with me? Because you won't otherwise. It's no, his girlfriend lied me to all right, well, I, seriously, I can't think of anything else I've got that would I need to ask you or talk to you about. Like I said, I wish I had more information for you. But I can't. No, that's all right. I mean, and I'm in the clouds and kind of rather be in the clouds in a way. Sure. I just feel bad for her. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sure she's she's jumping down my throat for every little thing. I accidentally screwed up and talked to Channel 12 yesterday, but I didn't really give them any information, so I didn't think I'd be on the news, and I ended up on the news. Oh yeah. Anytime you talk to the media, they'll they'll whatever you say, and one of two things will happen: they'll misconstrue it, or they'll yeah, use it, happens. or they'll run with it. Yeah, but usually, yeah. that's what we ain't. Just, what the news just came just to our house. Yeah. I don't give them anything. And the news came to us. We ain't talked. Today, if the news came to us today, uh -huh. and we didn't talk to them. Did you talk to them? All right. And we drove a wave on their side of the truck. Good for you. They had a camera right like, on the car. Wait, my mom came and got us. Because mm -hmm. I was using her car, so we all walked sure. over to her. I was the old news teams out there, you know, getting the camera. And all yeah. That. They started following us. I'm like, what the hell? And I was like, I'm not back. We're not leaving until they move. Yeah. I'm like, honey. Just go, just get laid. We're just going to go. go. Lincoln, they, they can't do nothing. As long as we didn't stop and talk to them or whatever, they ain't going to do nothing. <clears throat> what, is, what, is she, what is she upset with you about? Why is she kind of blaming you for some things? She's just upset that I was on the news. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I told, like, I see. My dad and my brother would be pissed off at you because you were on the news. <laughs> and all that. Hmm. Like, I really didn't say anything. I see no mom on the news. First, what what did you tell the news? I just told them that I live in that house and okay. I can't go there. Okay. You know, and that Nick was my stepson. Okay. That's all I said. Yeah, mom told me uh, tell him to come back in. Um. And you don't know anything about the kids, right? No. Okay. I just know well, I know a little bit more. And that's I just know. based off of what? How did you know? Did my you? family. Because they watched the Think. news. In my yeah. So basically, they got it from the news, which then turned around and told you about it. Yeah. Okay. That means that she connived Nick into doing it, and I guess he cut her throat and stabbed her, and that's about all I know. Okay. I think she did it. Or has um, told me? Um, that she that's did one it. reason why I was kind of trying to talk with you to see if maybe anything was said right. that could corroborate some of that stuff. So they ain't saying nothing. I mean, they acted like two normal people. Yeah. You know, that's what's really freaky. There you go. Arthur I mean, told just, me. Uh, how can you do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Arthur. I mean, the, the, even when my wife picked them up, they had the normal and everything else, you know, and she was telling my wife that now, so my. Arthur told him. Oh, my gosh. I got to wait for a while, you know, because I was kicked out of the house. And mm. It was just. Yeah, that is strange. Arthur told me she did it at Grandma's house. Dad's on Bob's son. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quinn, don't be afraid. Well, I think that's all I have. I don't. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be over there, but I may step in, peek in real quick. I know I'm done with you and see what she's gonna do. But we're done. Yeah, here in a second. Like I said, I'm sorry I couldn't give you more yeah, information. Yeah, you're not worried about that. I'm, I'm stuck in clouds as much as you are. Yeah. I mean, I, you guys know a lot yeah, more than I do. Yeah, I know some things I probably didn't want to know, but unfortunately that's part of my job and have to do that, so, you know. Well, just, She's just, probably you know, done. I bad for that family, you know. Yeah. I mean, but from what I heard, um, the siblings don't have nothing to do with mm -hmm. that family or nothing. Yeah. And, you know, they're there from Katrina, so I don't know. I mean, that's on the news, so it's nothing I'm not telling you. That, you know, they're from Katrina and planted in Springfield, so. I don't know what, you know. I don't know still the story because I don't watch the news, and I know. Yeah. They just have people coming up to me, hugging me, you know, and all that. And it's like, Excuse me. It's like, yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I hear you, man. I hear you. It's like, I gotta cut the grass. I don't even to cut the grass, but it's freaking the news teams are constantly out there. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I think we're done. Clint, stay here. Okay. You just gotta see how far they are, if they're almost done or not. High five. Right on. She just got done with her, she said. So. Mm -hmm. Two mosquito bites. You got mosquito bites. Sophie um bit me too. Oh really? Yeah. Got good right here. There was 
when I'd asked you something about her, um, you remember seeing anything on her injuries or anything? Or no something injuries to the icky. Yeah. She's okay. gone, Dad. You see anything anywhere else on her? Yeah. Okay. She's what about gone. Nick? Mm -hmm. Okay. He had some, something on his side right here. I was wondering what that was. So. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, he didn't have any injuries. None that, you, none that you see. Right. What about his hands, arms, mm -hmm. anything like that? Maybe band-aids or anything on his fingers? Not that I know of. But, I mean, I really, like I said, I don't pay attention to anything. Sure. Okay. All right. No big deal. Man, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thanks for your call of cooperation. Well, if I hear any more. Yeah, give me a call. Do you, you, you have my card still? Yeah. Yeah, just give me a call. Or, or if she thinks of something, or recalls. Would you come down with me? Thank you. Okay.